was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in old conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you Hey friends, I'm Jen. Welcome to the Sunshine Farm. I am currently 28 and a half weeks pregnant and I wanted to share the adventure of the past six months with you guys. Let's walk through the past six and a half months and then at the end I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a bump date where the bump is at now. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. I am just here snuggled up on the couch wearing like a million layers. I'm six weeks and two days pregnant. We're in the middle of this quarantine and this virus life and it's extremely stressful. I know it is for everybody but being pregnant adds another layer of it and um, I just feel like so isolated right now and it's just not the kind of time in my life where I thought that I would feel that way. It's just really it's a lot of emotions to deal with. I didn't expect this time of my life to be like this. I mean, how could I have? How could anybody expect this t to be happening? Pregnancy is just taking all the energy out of me. Today is March 22nd. So, yeah, we're right in the middle, or the beginning of the middle of the virus, and it's hit really hard in New York. So, yeah, and we're staying home. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. Um, we are going to listen to the baby. I'm 11 weeks and two days. I have my first ultrasound tomorrow. So we just wanted to listen to the heartbeat before that appointment just to calm some nerves. Got this little handy dandy Doppler. Oh, God, you're like. There it is. Well, you can hear it. Yes, definitely can hear it three times now. So we heard baby for like a, a few little clips and you guys probably could hear it for a second too. It sounds like a train, so it's like choop, 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 choop. So at 11 weeks, the baby is like fully formed. It looks like a baby has a nose, ears, eyes. Um, all its organs, heart that's beating obviously, and it's even starting to grow things like teeth and nails and all of that stuff. So even though they're only like this big, they are gonna look a lot like a baby when, we get, when I get to see them tomorrow. I will record tomorrow's appointment because Chris can't be there unfortunately mm -hmm. due to restrictions on visitors with the virus. And so they are allowing us to record so I'll record the whole the whole thing or, or a good chunk of the thing so you guys can actually see the baby the first time I do. Also, I have a small little baby bump growing, so I'm going to show you guys that right now. So I noticed the bump for the first time week 10, so last week, and this week it's just continuing to grow. So as you can see, I've got these leggings which are super comfy, and <clears throat> there's a little bump. My little belly goes out. Right there. My belly is going to grow a lot over the next seven months, and I'm sure you guys will see lots of that. Okay, bye, friends. Okay, so we are here for my ultrasound appointment. I'm going to go in, I'm going to bring my camera, I'm going to bring my phone, and try to record it and FaceTime him. I'm going to camp out in the car. Yeah, I had a really rough night last night. Ugh, like just really rough, so feeling not like my normal self so if you see that it's, that's why okay so I'm gonna get my mask on and then and then get ready to go in it fits you so much more competently than it does me <laughs> so cute someone doing some jumps oh yeah I'm moving around oh yeah Oh, it's so unbelievable. It so looks like a baby. It's so crazy. Oh. I 
was never the one to give it the ghost. Now I was so stuck. I kept on playing my part. So I just had my appointment. We're on our way home now, and Chris is just picking up some tissues at the store for me because I've had really bad allergies and my nose hurts so bad. So he's trying to find the tissues that have aloe vera in them. Anywho, I just got out for my appointment and I wanted to show you guys something. Baby! But the baby was doing great measuring a few days ahead. I'm measuring 12 weeks and the baby was jumping all over the place. Um, it was really, really, really exciting. It was really hard because I was like, Chris wasn't there and I couldn't like share that moment with anyone except for this ultrasound tech who I don't know. There's little baby. See the little brain and nose and mouth. This is another picture. Um, in this picture, the baby has his little little hand up, and you can see his little leg. And there's one more. But with you, it's so clear, and now that you're here, I see colors in every spectrum. Hey friends, we are on our way to get a private ultrasound done. We're 18 and a half weeks along, and currently our appointments are not allowing any visitors, so not even Chris has been able to come. And we thought about it, and at first we were thinking, well maybe I could, I could find out and then find out a fun way to surprise him. But there's a private ultrasound place not too far from us that is allowing visitors. And so we just decided, let's just pay for it privately, get an ultrasound done, so we can find out the gender together. So, that's what we're gonna go, go, that's what we're going to go do. We're going to go find out the gender of our little baby. And Chris's mom is meeting us there because they're allowing, I think, up to three visitors. And so we just thought, okay, well, we can invite her. Even though we're finding out the gender, we're going to be able to choose a name and stuff like that we're actually not going to be sharing it on the channel or on social media just because we want to have something to be able to keep to ourselves for a while and maybe we'll share as we get closer um, to the to the due date maybe we won't maybe we won't find out until our little baby is born but either way eventually we'll find out <laughs> anywho that's where we're going we'll share some footage with you guys Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Awesome Now, just for those that are going to be watching your vlog Sometimes the babies can look like melted cheese That's normal <laughs> Okay Hi, baby Oh my gosh, no, this baby is going to go to the mailbox because I think we got a delivery. Oh, no, it's actually out at the front of the garage, which is better for me because it's so hot. It's like 90 plus today. I wanted to show you this because this is going to be baby sprouts, baby carriers. So I'm really excited about this box, this order, and I wanted to show you guys what's in it. Ooh, this is the uh, sling. Oh, 
fabric is so nice. Somehow, I, I need to look how, but I'm pretty sure you, you get it on somehow. No. Oh, I love this color. What a cool color. This, I like this, yeah. It's like a Ninja Turtle shell. <laughs> and then you wrap this around. And secure it like right in here, and then baby will go right in there. That's exciting. Baby sprout. Just a few months. Hey friends, we are busy working on our master bedroom, which we're turning into a combination bedroom and nursery. You'll see what we're doing in a second, but I just wanted to give you a before look so you can see what it looked like before all the renovations take take place this guy is off this week so he's working on getting a wall taken down or two small walls taken down and a new closet put up and eventually we're going to be putting all new floors in so let's just go take a peek in there and see what's going on so as you can see our bedroom is a hot mess right so this is like the bed area there's this whole area of our bedroom, which, let's go back here and take a look. As you can see, it's pretty spacious, but the space was really poorly organized. So we're tearing down this wall and this wall, and we're turning this whole section from here all the way over to the closet into the new nursery. And so it will be like right next to our bed. And then our new closet is going to be right here. How's it feel to have those walls down? Oh, that was a little nerve-wracking. Nerve-wracking? <coughs> I'm just a little, I'm just nervous. I'm gonna unroll this, I guess. The whole thing. Yeah. And then just match up the pieces. So we've got this peel and stick wallpaper, which as you can see here is very cute. It's woodland creatures themed um, with like a sage background. And we're gonna put it on this wall behind us. We're going to be going all the way up to the ceiling, so including this angle part, and then bringing it down. Close your eyes. Get some rest. I'm by your side. I know you've had a really bad day But I'm right here, it's gonna be okay The world could fall down, it's gonna be They most of them do not move like that easily. No? No, because they're not three wheeled like that. Yeah. Most have four wheels. But you can move in such tight environments with this. You can just turn around. Oh, he's like, oh, I'm scared. 
It's so like solid and built. Right. Kind of driving it around. Yeah. <laughs> it's very nice. I just love that it's such a good high quality product, but also more sustainably made. Also, my overalls, the last time I wore them, I think I was like 14 weeks. It's been a while since you wore them. They, they don't have like, they fill out now. The belly. So I am 28 weeks and three days pregnant. Not that the days matter all that much. And today's a fun one. I have to drink this really sweet 50 grams of sugar beverage um, right now and then head over to a lab to get my blood drawn to make sure that I do not have gestational diabetes and we'll hope that I pass. Not that bad, it just tastes like sugary water. I don't like it, but it just tastes like really sugary water. Yeah. A lot of sugary water that I drink. Yeah. Time to go to the lab. So now that we've taken a step back, Two and a half months to go until we meet Baby Sprout. Let's take a look at this 28-week bump. That's it, friends. Thanks for being here, and we'll see you guys next time.